Telepotato is one of the most affordable Raspberry Pi alternatives out in the market today. But we do not see widespread adoption, mainly because there's not much support for the Telepotato to talk about. We do not see many projects using it, or any content showing how to use it, not like the Raspberry Pi. It's kind of like the chicken or the egg situation. We need support to have more adoption, and at the same time, we need adoption to get more support. The specs of the Lepotato look great on paper, comparing it to the Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, especially for the price, but we need to be able to use it. Are there disadvantages or drawbacks when using the Lepotato? I'm interested to make more projects using the Lepotato because it reminds me of how I felt about the Raspberry Pi back when it was new. If someone knows of a website or projects using the Lepotato, please let me know in the comments. For today, I will install Casa OS on the Lepotato. Things we will need for this project. A Raspberry Pi 3B+, a micro SD card, I used a 16 gig card, and of course, the Libra computer Lepotato. Download the Raspberry Pi Imager if you don't have it yet. Links are in the description. Flash Raspberry Pi OS Lite 64-bit onto the micro SD card. Here on the settings, you can enter your login credentials, enable SSH, configure Wi-Fi, and set locale among other things. Click right when ready. Once flashing is complete, insert the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi 3B+, and then boot. SSH into the Raspberry Pi and log in. Once logged in, update and upgrade the installed packages by typing sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade dash y. Once packages have been updated and upgraded, we can now run the script to enable us to run Lepotato using the micro SD card. I use this method to install Raspbian because for some reason, I'm unable to install and run the Raspbian version that I download from the Libre computer website. It's either it does not run or it does not allow me to use SSH. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm not sure. And I don't know. The link to GitHub and the script is in the description below. Install Git, then clone the Libre computer GitHub repository, and lastly, run the command to enable the Lepotato board to run on Raspbian. Make sure to specify the correct board you're using. In this case, we have the AML S905XCC. Confirm that you want to proceed by typing continue. Once this is done, shut down the Raspberry Pi and move the micro SD card to the Lepotato. Turn on the Lepotato. It should now be running Raspberry Pi OS. Before we reboot, test the read write speeds of the micro SD card. Then, once the Lepotato has rebooted, we will test the speeds again. Copy the script from the description. Now we can proceed with installing Casa OS. Installing Casa OS on the Lepotato should not be any different from any other supported device. I have a video about installing Casa OS on the Orange Pi 5, running on an NVMe SSD. Links should be showing on the top right corner of the screen. Copy the script from the Casa OS website. SSH into the Lepotato and paste the script. Once it is done installing, and it really doesn't take very long, you can take the IP address of your device and enter it on your browser. Here, we have Casa OS asking you to create your account. Once logged in, we can now install apps or migrate existing apps from another Docker install. And should the app you need not be available, we can always do a custom install using Docker Compose. Casa OS also has an integrated search bar that you can configure to run your preferred search engine. It also lets you manage your users, configure user interface, including language and wallpaper. 
as well as set up other widgets that you may find useful. Managing files is easy with drag and drop options. 